All right, so this is the uh, Nook Color from Barnes & Noble. It's a 7-inch uh, full-color e-reader from uh, Barnes & Noble, which was released in the last month or so. It's a great little uh, device, and it's Android-based, so it actually turns into a fantastic tablet once you root it. Um, as you can see, it's a great size. It's a 7-inch screen, but it's uh, not sacrificing anything for that size. It's actually a 1024 by 600 uh, IPS display, so you get really, really high resolution, really, really crisp display. Uh, it is only 5 inches by 8 inches, so as you can see, it's very comfortable in the hand. I can actually get my fingers all the way around it. Uh, borders are fairly narrow, but still very nice size. They're not too big, so they keep the device size small. Uh, and even though the device is made out of plastic, it feels really sturdy. You know, if I twist it, it doesn't creak or anything. It doesn't even feel like a twist. Really well designed all the way around. Nice looking device. Um, if I look at it from the side here, you can see it's only about a half inch thick, which is very nice. On the back, it's got a rubberized coating, which makes it feel a little bit more grippy in the hand. And it's also flat, so when you set it on a flat surface, it sits flat and doesn't wobble or any of those sorts of things. Uh, speaker grill is down here, so it's got uh, full audio inside. Not a bad sounding device. Uh, and in the corner, you may have noticed this little loop element. It's not actually for clipping it to your belt loop or something. That'd be kind of silly, but it does uh, expose the uh, micro SD slot. So if I open up this little flap, I've got a little micro SD card in there. Uh, you can go up to 32 gig on those micro SD cards, which basically means this device can have unlimited storage. You can drag around as much content and video as you could possibly want uh, to put on this device. So flip right back around to the front side. You'll notice it's a, it is a kind of a glossy display, which looks like it might be a little bit glary, but it's not too bad when it's on. So let's go ahead and turn it on and uh, I'll unlock it so that it doesn't open. You see it's IPS, so it's very nice. It has great viewing angles. I can turn it all the way to the side and I'm not getting dark really on the display. It's very nice to, to work with. Um, and anybody familiar with Android or any of these devices is gonna be right at home with this. It's got three home pages, so as you can see, I can scroll left and right. Obviously, this is my wife's, which is why it's got all these girly magazines on it. I'm not really into those. <laughs> but you can see you can put all your magazines and your books on the home page. It's also got a little dock down here at the bottom that you can put magazines and books on. So as an e-reader, it's a really great device, honestly. I really like this. Um, let's go ahead and look at magazine, for example. The full color gives you the ability to really use magazines or really consume magazines really, really well. It's very nice to look at. And as I said, at 1024 by 600, it's a really sharp display. All of this text, you may not be able to see it in the video, but for me, it's actually quite readable. But even so, if I needed to scroll in or scroll out, I've got my standard pinch to zoom features and those sorts of things. So I can zoom in and zoom out that way. I can also double tap to zoom. I can flip pages by just flicking the display. And as you can see, it's relatively quick. Full color display, really very nice. I can also tap left and right to uh, move left and right. But one of the nicest things about it is the navigation features. If you're getting magazines, as you know, they're full of ads and that's really kind of irritating. If you just want to jump to the uh, content, if you tap down here below the magazine, get a nice little thumbnail preview and I can zip past all of those ads and go straight to the article that I want to see, which is very nice. So as an ebook reader, it's pretty nice. Um, down at the bottom here, you'll notice I have a little Wi-Fi logo. Yes, it does have Wi-Fi. It's uh, 802.11bgn, uh, so you can uh, get connected to your home network, which is very nice, and get on the internet. And I can turn that on and off just by tapping down in the corner, which is very nice for when you're on the go if you want to save some battery life. Um, they do say this one gets somewhere in the neighborhood of about eight hours. I honestly haven't uh, used it continuously to tell if it actually gets eight hours of battery life. We've only charged it once in the last week. Um, so it does seem to do pretty well as far as battery goes. Um, at the bottom here, you'll also notice I have a, a little arrow button down here. If I click on that, that gets me to the dock, which gets me all my options. And these are it's just simple navigation. Oops, missed it. I can go to my library, for example, and take a look, and you'll notice I have uh, all my books in here and my magazines and, and so on. I can flip through those. Interestingly enough, I have access to the file system, so I actually have folders and all those sorts of things that I can do. Uh, and this shows me what's on my cards and those sorts of things, which is kind of nice. So it does support a wide variety of formats, Microsoft formats and those sorts of things. I can uh, take anything that I want to go with me, PDF and those uh, types of files and open any one of those. So that's all very nice. Um, I've, of course, got a shop as well. I can jump to the uh, Barnes & Noble shop, and as you can see, it's a very nice experience. It uh, makes all the recommendations and the typical stuff you'd expect these days. Um, you know, magazines for me, um, I've got books picked just for me, authors I might like, and those sorts of things. A very easy experience, very comfortable, enjoyable to use. Um, th that's all exciting and all, but the part that really interests me is the things like the web browser, for example. The web browser gives you full access to the web, which is very nice. Um, as you can see, I'm on the Engadget site. It is a WebKit-based standard Android browser, and it's very snappy and responsive, so it's quite usable. As you can see, Engadget renders beautifully. Um, because I've rooted this one, I have YouTube access, so I can tap on YouTube, and it's going to bring up the YouTube player and play the video for me. I'm not going to do that right now because it's kind of sluggish to download and sit here and watch. It makes it kind of tedious to, to look at. Um, I can, of course, 
scroll all the way up to the top here and we can take a look at the New York Times for example uh, and I've already got that one in my list so I'll pop that one up without typing it in and you can see it kind of jump on the internet here and get me some uh, New York Times if I want to read the news I've got a little loading bar across the top that you can't see and there's the New York Times okay so very usable as a web browser as I said it's WebKit based so it, it's very compatible with the viewing uh, uh, style of uh, most websites you get uh, clean renders and those sorts of things I can do you know the standard double taps to zoom in and all that kind of stuff um, very usable uh, the thing that excites me the most though is the extras drawer now on a default uh, Nook color you're only going to have six or eight applications but once you've rooted it you can have access to the full Android market and all of the Android apps that are out there so I can do anything that I can do on any other tablet I can play things like Angry Birds for example which is a old favorite we'll bring that up and it does do landscape of course there comes uh, Angry Birds Angry Birds looks fantastic on this display it scales up beautifully uh, it actually looks like it's uh, rendered with uh, uh, scalable graphics so it looks very nice and I'm going to tap the home button. Because I've rooted this, I can see all the applications that I'm running and I get the standard uh, Android buttons at the bottom, which let me get, lets me get out real easily. I miss. There we go. Make sure you want to quit. Okay. So that gets me there. And of course, I can look at my extras drawer down here and see other applications. I've got Twitter. I've got uh, Facebook. I've got Pandora. I've got, you know, Flickster, Movies, uh, SpringPad, Flight Frenzy, uh, any of the kinds of applications that you could think of. So this really makes a fantastic little tablet. And at 249 bucks, it's almost almost irresistible. It's really great to use, uh, really nice experience. And if you want just a casual, nice little tablet to take with you uh, or to do work on or whatever, it's really, uh, really a nice little competitive thing. So I recommend you definitely take a look at it.